Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have another absolutely gigantic Chap May set to take a look at. As you can see there, even though you can't quite see the entire thing, to the down bottom left hand side we have the Dino Valley logo, so this is a Dino Valley release. And uh, you can also see some pretty sweet artwork over here to the right on the bottom you know, right area of a T-Rex that's kind of contained within a truck. And that's basically what we have going on here with this set. You can see that we have a very cool Dino Valley style truck that is carrying a T-Rex. And you can also see there's some extras like human figures, a very small airplane, as well as some smaller dinosaurs, a ceratopsian of some kind, and a parasaurolophus it looks like we've got in there. And the T-Rex looks to probably be the same one that we've had a few times when it comes to both this set. And then there's also the Kid Connection sets that have released this T-Rex, which I think might be associated with Chap May in one way or another. And uh, you can see it's kind of like that JP3 sort of looking T-Rex, but this time we have more of a uh, orangish paint scheme, it looks like, from what we can see so far. But this set is so gigantic, it is ridiculous. Like, I almost couldn't fit it up here on the review station just to kind of give you guys this first look at it because the horn of my Sideshow Triceratops is over here to the right and it's almost like poking through the side of the box. The box is so huge. And uh, I think that's mostly due to the fact that we have that large truck. The thing I love the most about this set, and I can say that straight away, is that kind of capture gear that we have going on for the T-Rex that's in the back of the truck. That looks absolutely epic and uh, definitely a really cool addition to this set. The thing I would say I probably like the most about it. But let's go ahead, pop all of this stuff out of the box, and we'll check it out from there. So here we are. We now have everything out of the packaging. And you can definitely say one thing about this set. You get a lot for your money you get a pretty good bang for your buck because there's definitely a good bit of stuff included in this one and again actually having the truck now out of the box and taking a look at it it is really quite phenomenal again I'm not the biggest fan of you know trucks or anything like that toy trucks of course that's not what I collect but when it comes to dinosaur related vehicles this is probably the coolest one that I've ever seen from Chap May, and it has, again, the, almost that kind of old-school sort of Jurassic Park feel with the T-Rex kind of trapped there and contained within the back of the truck, and on top of that, we, of course, have some human figures that you can see down there, which are also really well done. We have some, you know, just little extra cheaper dinos down there to the bottom left that we can see right now. And then, of course, some other extras like weapons and all that fun stuff. But honestly, I'm quite impressed. Even though they did reuse this T-Rex, they previously had released it in a greenish coloration. It actually looks really cool in the truck. Like, that definitely looks really, really neat with that exact version of the T-Rex in there. And you could probably swap that out for... Uh, you know, other Jurassic Park figures and stuff, and then kind of throw those into the mix here with this truck, because I'd imagine they'd probably fit in that capture gear area as well. But I'm really psyched to get a closer look at this, now having it out of the packaging and seeing how nice everything actually looks. So let's go ahead, jump straight to that closer look right now. So one good thing straight away about this is the fact that you can remove the trailer from the truck. They can separate so you can have the truck individually and drop off the trailer and stuff like that, which is good because that gives me the opportunity to review this a little easier without dragging the truck along with it, you know, just to take a look at the trailer. But you can see as far as the actual truck goes, again, detail-wise, it definitely looks really nice. They've done a great job of adding in a lot of really fine detail. It looks like we might have some form of articulation when it comes to the, you know, kind of like cage type area because we've got this little area here and then I could see another one here and then actually one here in the back. So we'll have to check that out then and see exactly what's going on with that. But you can see as we move along again, we have a lot of grays when it comes to the coloration, but then you also have all sorts of other colors when it comes to the stickers and stuff that are applied. You've also got this little area up here. And what's cool about that is that area actually articulates as well. You can see we can kind of push that out there to the side, which looks to be maybe a chair of some kind. And then if we come back up here, you can see we've got some really cool red and black caution tape. Obviously, you would want to, uh, you know, sort of put out some kind of a warning that you have a dinosaur on board. A caution tape might be a good idea to do that. But if not, you also have this really cool sticker here, which actually kind of shows you that if you poke the injury of the T-Rex, it's going to yell at you. So 
I mean, you can take that as kind of a hilarious warning if you're using this as like a real life sticker when you're transporting your dinosaur, but also just, you know, kind of something to tell you that you can have some form of playability with the dinosaur toy itself. And then as you move up, you can see that the T-Rex again is contained within this, you know, kind of capture gear. And I think it looks awesome, you know, with this capture gear holding it in there. Such a really cool visual of a T-Rex sort of chained up and caged up. And again, I feel like it would be neat to kind of swap this Rex out with like some Jurassic World dinosaurs, you know, and include those in this set as well. Definitely a really cool set if you, uh, you know, are a fan of the capture gear type aspect. But you can see as you move through it, the capture gear of the head there is kind of attached with like a chain. And then you can Continue to move along the back here as I smack the truck that's down below it. Let's go ahead and see we can move that. So that basically is like a lock and I think that's going to be how we open this up. But you have a little lock there. It looks like we've got another one right here which is already open actually. And then you've got this little area up here on the top and I think I may have just accidentally shot the missile out of the truck down there because I'm bumping the top of the truck. I probably should have just moved that out of here entirely. And you can see the tail of the Rex sticks out of the back of the truck as well. And then we've got kind of like a nice little fenced in sort of cage like area back here. And uh, we'll of course open this up probably down when we are taking a different look at it you know from a little bit further away it might be a little easier to actually open it up and take a look at it but when we look at it from the opposing side again it looks pretty much the same you know there's not really much as far as the design goes that differs on this side compared to what we had seen on the initial side and uh, other than the fact that we don't have like that big kind of warning sort of uh, T-Rex sign here on the side or even the caution tape even though we have the area that's kind of sculpted out to appear like caution tape we don't have the caution tape itself but you do have the chair and the chair can kind of come out here and you can see if you want somebody I guess to observe the dinosaur you could have them swing out here or if you just want somebody to be sitting in here to kind of tranquilize the dinosaur when you're sneaking up on it or whatever the case may be Again, it's pretty cool that this articulates out and uh, swings out to the side. Even though we didn't exactly see a truck like this in the Lost World Jurassic Park, this entire truck really does give me Lost World Jurassic Park vibes. And then we've got the truck itself. Again, we have a little bit more of those kind of red caution tape areas. You can see that we've got some numbers here on the side of the truck. We also yet again have that kind of Dino Valley logo here on the side. And we can see that we have sort of like a... Uh, target here on a dinosaur and then as you move through you can see the truck has some really nice sculpting detail to it primarily it is a greenish coloration but it looks really cool again pretty much like classic chap may vehicles usually do you can see the wheels also articulate very nicely which is a plus so the truck could probably move around very nicely we can also see that we've got some pretty cool detailing as we move along here the front of the truck actually let me see if i can get a better view if i move this back a little bit but the front of the truck has a really nice grayish coloration to it and a quite the heavily armored sort of a look, which is exactly what you would want when you are hunting down and chasing down dinosaurs. And then if you come up here to the top, we have sort of a missile launcher on the top, which is pretty cool to have. And the launcher actually shoots these. So we basically are shooting out kind of nets to you know, snag yourself a dinosaur. You can see you can push those in there. And then this button right here, fires it and kills everything that I have over here to the left. I don't think I really thought that one out too well. I don't know why I would think that shooting a uh, net into a pile of dinosaurs was a good idea, but I definitely knocked some stuff down over there. But again, as you move through, you take a look at the opposing side. You can see this side actually doesn't have a door. We do have a door on the initial side. I didn't check to see if it articulates, but we will do that in a moment. You can get a look at what the inside of the truck looks like. The seats don't look all that comfortable, but, you know, that's not my problem. That's the human figure's problem, I guess, because they're the ones that would be sitting in there. But again, the detailing aspect looks really nice as you move through the course of the truck. And then you, of course, have the connectors there to connect the trailer to the back of the truck. Let's go ahead. Actually, first of all, we can check to see if we have articulation up here on the top. So we do for that launcher. Definitely articulates. In fact, it can go all the way around if you choose to, which... Oh, it can actually also go up and down and stuff. So there's definitely some really nice mobility in that. And again, increasing the playability of the truck. Doesn't look like we have an articulated door. Definitely not. So the way to get your human figures in, I guess, would be this side here, which the door is missing. So that makes it, I guess, pretty easy to get them in there. But, you know, it's a pretty decent truck overall. Definitely gives you that classic Dino Valley feel. That's for sure. 
You also, again, have two of those nets, those kind of missile-like nets to contain and capture your dinosaurs, so you are given a few of those. On top of that, you are also given a very small airplane, which scale-wise doesn't exactly, more like a jet actually, but scale-wise doesn't really match up to anything else in this set, but it's just a fun little extra. Again, just something fun to play with. We've got like a little button here. I don't know what that does. I really have no idea. I'm not figuring out what that one does at all. But you can also see again that we have the Dino Valley logos and everything up here on the top. Okay, you know, there's not a whole lot going on with it, but it's a pretty fun extra that definitely kids will enjoy. And then one thing you are almost guaranteed to have in any modern Dino Valley set are these because you always have the, you know, extras, the tools, all of that fun stuff, binoculars. So you've got a good bit going on when it comes to these. You just have to pop these off. They're always fun when it comes to a playability standpoint as well. And then we've got our human figures. And the human figures are actually quite nice. You can see that the uh, first one here, we've got a nice blonde appearance for this guy. Really quite nicely sculpted, and they have some very impressive paint apps. You can see, again, we have the blonde hair, we've got the skin tone, we also have the eyes and the eyebrows painted. And then as you move down into his actual body, you can see, again, we've got some pretty cool variations of greens throughout as far as his outfit goes, but we also have a lot of different things added on to him, and you can see that they are as well painted, which is really cool, even the knife and everything, and the slip to put the knife in it's all painted very nicely even the belt buckle as you move down is painted and you can see again on top of the really really impressive paintwork of this human figure we have a lot of really nice detail you know you can see all kinds of wrinkles and creases and everything in his outfit adding in some nice doses of realism as a whole and then as you move down you can see even the boots are sculpted really quite realistically so the human figures look really good visually there's not a whole lot going on here on the back of him except for this area but detail wise there is just not paint wise and you of course have articulation like you would want and you can see we have an articulated neck a little jerky but it works we also have arm articulation out away from the body you can swivel all around i think we have yes we've got elbow articulation as well and then as you move down you've got hip articulation forward and back i don't think he's going to be doing splits now and then we also have knee articulation so some pretty decent articulation again actually quite the nice human figure and then we have a second which is a very different style to him when it comes to his outfit even though he does still have that kind of military type clothing this time we've got no sleeves or anything for this guy you can see we even have tattoos that have been applied which look really cool actually and uh, he's very muscular which I guess if you're going to be out wrangling dinosaurs, you would want to be in good shape. And you can see that he's got some facial hair going on, if my camera would focus on him correctly. He's got facial hair, the eyebrows again, the eyes, all of that are painted really nicely. He has some sort of a hat on or a beanie. And then you can also see that he's got, again, quite a bit of paintwork as you move down. You've got sunglasses there and everything as you move down through the course of the figure. You even have some variation of color as you lead into the pants. Some greenish tones have been kind of applied, almost making it look like uh, he's recently run into a grassy area and slid, and he now has kind of like some grass stains on his outfit. And again, sculpt-wise, it looks just as impressive as the first human figure did. And again, we have the same style of articulation with the neck much smoother on that one. And you can see we can move the arm up and down. Oh, this one actually is slightly different, so his arm doesn't come out away from the body. The other one did, but this one doesn't. It only goes up and down, and we do also have the articulation in the elbow, so that's a plus. And then as you move down, you've got the, you know, hip articulation as well as the knee, so you have the same style of articulation there, but we are lacking that extra shoulder articulation that we saw on the first human figure. And then the dinosaurs that we have in this set, first of all, is a Parasaurolophus. And we've had sets in the past that have had similar dinosaurs to this. But the last time we had a Carnotaurus and uh, I forget what the other one was, actually. It's been a little while. But I remember, actually, I think it might have been a Dilophosaurus. And this time we have a Parasaurolophus. And similar to the first time around when it comes to this style dinosaur, you basically just have two colorations. You have like a light brown and then a darker variation of a brown, almost like a reddish brown that we have going on here that just kind of designs through but the sculpting and detailing again looks pretty decent you know a little muted when it comes to the detail but this is just kind of like a fun little extra dinosaur it's not meant to be any sort of a high-tech super high quality addition to the set and he looks pretty cool overall and you also have a ceratopsian 
of some kind. I don't know exactly what kind of species they were going for with this one, but it does have a pretty cool sculpt and almost a little bit of a vintage sort of a look, which I do quite like. Kind of almost reminds me slightly of the Styracosaurus from Planet of Dinosaurs. I don't know what it is about it, but the head sculpt kind of reminds me of that. But again, really cool looking as far as the sculpt goes. I would actually love to see Chap May release a more detailed, a little bit larger, somewhat articulated version of this Ceratopsy, and I think that would be a pretty darn neat release. Same deal as far as the coloration goes to what we had just seen on the other one with the two different tones of color. This time we have like a greenish brown and then a uh, variation of like a blue. But again, pretty cool. And then we also have the T-Rex. Now, this again, sculpt-wise, is a T-Rex. We've actually gone over probably about two or three times now in the past when it comes to reviews. So we don't need to actually go over the sculpt or anything this time around. We'll just look at what's different on this one from the previous editions, and that would be the coloration. So we have like a red-orange sort of a color for the primary body color of this Rex. And then you can see that we have, if I get this truck out of the way, actually, because again, it's in my way down. On there but you can see we have a black tone here running over the top of the head very glossy looking black and you also have that black there circling around the eye and it kind of spots down and it also stripes continues to stripe down as you move through the course of the body but once you hit the hip region it starts to kind of disappear you can see we have one little last run of it right there and then as you lead out the length of the tail it's just you know entirely gone there's no more of that coloration the wound though is painted out as we have a pinkish tone there in the wound for those slices and you can clearly see that's a button that we will press here in a moment we do have some articulation on the rex you've got an articulated jaw the jaw doesn't close entirely but you can see it does articulate a little bit you also have arm articulation not a whole lot but a little bit and then leg articulation again same deal where we don't have a whole lot but we can definitely articulate it a little bit it looks like you could potentially have you know tail articulation as there is a seam there but it doesn't actually articulate and then you're going to see pretty much the same thing over here on the opposing side except we now do have screw holes on it although I actually didn't mention we do have the teeth painted here on the inside of the mouth yeah, I didn't think there was a tongue or anything from what I could recall but the teeth are painted out and then as you move down you continue to see a few screw holes over here on this side, you know, pretty much what you would expect is I don't think Chap May has ever, you know, shied from the screw holes of their figures. So that's something that's pretty common with Chap May as well. You may notice that we don't actually have any paint for the eyes of the Rex, and that's because... We have a sound effect, and obviously the eyes light up once you press the button, so kind of like a little sound feature to the dinosaur a little extra action feature as far as like the eyes lighting up and everything like that and then of course the dinosaur noises and I believe that's exactly the same thing that the you know previous version of this t-rex had going on very Jurassic Park 3-ish sort of looking t-rex very similar looking but you know it's a figure that's been presented in quite a few chap May sets in the past and now we just have a new color variant of it this time around and then to kind of give you a little bit of a better idea as far as the articulation of the truck and everything you can see as far as the you know capture gear for the head goes it does articulate up and down and it does also open up so you can open that up entirely to capture your t-rex and then on top of that just like we had kind of suspected we can if i can open that up well i actually just took the capture gear as far as the head off entirely but you can open the inside of the truck up. You can, like you saw, take the capture gear off entirely. And of course, the other side would also drop down to release your dinosaur or, of course, open up to capture your dinosaur. That's really up to you what you're going to do with it. But definitely some pretty cool playability with this set. I will say that. And obviously, you can see it moving forward and back here. It does move very, very smoothly. As far as a size goes, though, this is going to be fun. We've got quite a bit here to figure out size-wise. So for a length on the truck, you are looking at right around 26 and a half inches or about the 67 centimeter range. And then for a height to the top of the truck, the highest point is right around 13 and a quarter inches or about 33 and a half, maybe approaching 34 centimeters. So... Definitely a very large truck. If we remove the truck and we bring our T-Rex back in for a length on the Rex, even though we've done this before, 
you're looking at just shy of about 15 and a half inches or around 40 centimeters. And for a height, you can see it does balance quite nicely. That's a plus. But for a height just shy of 10 inches, like almost there, or around the 25, maybe 25 and a half centimeter range for a height on our T-Rex. And I don't feel like we need much of a size on a lot of the other stuff, but we will check the humans just to make sure. So this one's actually a little bit over four inches. So not quite in that three and three quarter inch size range like you often see human figures. You can see it's almost four and a quarter inches or around 10 and a half, 11 centimeters. Let me go ahead and see if this one is the same. Yeah, so he's a little bit shorter than the other guy. He's right around four inches or maybe a hair over or about 10 centimeters. And then for the dinosaurs, which I don't feel like we really need to measure both because they're roughly the same size. Lengthwise, you are looking at for the Parasaurolophus about five inches or around 12 and a half centimeters. And then for a height, about two and a half inches or around six and a half centimeters. For a size comparison, here is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line, and uh, you can get a pretty good idea, I think, of the size of pretty much everything here in comparison. You can clearly see again why we had such a huge box at the beginning of the review, because the entire set as a whole is quite massive, and you can definitely see that here looking over pretty much everything in comparison. The Colovasaurus is actually quite a bit closer than it probably needs to be. If we move that back, you can see again how small it looks in comparison to everything. And you can also see there with Muldoon next to the human figure, basically what the size difference is between your average three and three quarter inch size range for human figures and what we have going on here with the Chapmay Dino Valley set. But Obviously, as a whole, this is one gigantic set. And just in case you are a Chapmay collector and you happen to have their older and awesome version of the T-Rex, then this comparison here might help at least a little bit to show you the size of this set and to show you again that this set is quite huge because their original, their older T-Rex was definitely quite sizable. And you can see that here again in comparison to this set here. I don't think that Rex would actually fit in the capture area of this set because I feel like the Rex might be a little bit too wide in the, you know, legs and everything. More so like the feet. But there's a chance that that as well could actually fit in here. I can't say positively, but I might give it a shot after the review is over. So I actually did try it with the older T-Rex and you can see now that the capture gear of the head is taken off. So you can also see that you can display this Rex without that on there. But uh, I tried it with the older Rex. It didn't fit it's just a little bit too thick you know in the feet so uh that is a little bit of a bummer because it would have been cool to actually take the older rex and put it in there and i feel like that might be an issue when fitting some of the jurassic world toys and stuff into this set and kind of swapping them because i just feel like some of them might be a little bit too wide compared to this rex but you could definitely fit i'm sure some thinner ones in there but for one final comparison because i don't feel like we're going to do too many comparisons with this set it's not exactly something that i think many comparisons will really help but you can see we have the safari ltdu tyrannus the schleich diabloceratops and collect day deluxe dimetrodon here next to this set just to again give you one more idea of a size and of course the fact that this is absolutely gigantic so this chap made dino valley truck and dinosaur play set is pretty darn cool i will say that again Again, I would love to see Chap May release some sort of a newer version of their T-Rex, you know, actually even maybe a retooled version of their older Rex because I really love that stylized appearance. This figure is okay, you know, it's not the greatest T-Rex in the world. It has a kind of a Jurassic Park look to it, which is pretty cool, but it's just that we've had this Rex quite a few times now. I would just love to see some sort of an updated version. Still a cool, you know, set overall, and the Rex works perfectly when it comes to the overall visual of this set, and I actually quite like the tones of color for this newest version. And like I've said numerous times, I actually quite like the noise that it makes because it has a very old-school dinosaur kind of a roar. But the truck itself, in my opinion, is kind of the highlight of this set because, first of all, it's massive. Secondly, it's super cool looking. And third, it contains capture gear. And capture gear is always something that I personally love because it takes me straight back to the old Jurassic Park toy line days. So anytime I get any kind of a 
model toy figure with capture gear. It's definitely something that I'm drawn to. And the capture gear of this set looks really neat. Definitely has that old school feel. And again, kind of gives me Lost World Jurassic Park vibes overall. The sculpt of the truck and the trailer was really nice, actually, like very highly detailed. There's definitely quite a bit of work that's been put into it, especially when it comes to applying some pretty cool decals and stickers and stuff to the model. Quite a bit of paint work throughout, especially when it comes to, you know, the human figures, the human figures actually have a lot of paint but even the truck has some decent coloration to it again with various tones of grays greens and stuff like that on top of all of that it's very smooth as far as its operation goes it also has quite a bit of articulation like the fact that you can pull the capture area open and you can move the capture gear itself and you have that kind of missile launcher on the top of the truck there's just quite a bit going on you also have that seat you can pull out and uh, quite a bit that you can do as far as playability with this set overall on top of that again the human figures are really quite nice i think they're very nicely sculpted very nicely painted they have some impressive paintwork overall because there's a lot to them and they do look really quite high quality so i am a huge fan actually of the human figures in this set in particular there's also the extras as far as like the tools and stuff and that's something you usually get in the chap may sets just a pretty fun little extra you have that airplane which is like severely out of scale with pretty much everything else that we have have here but still you know something that kids are definitely going to love if you buy this set for a child or a grandchild or anything like that they're going to love that plane kids always love planes especially one that's ready to bomb some dinosaurs but on top of that you also have a few dinosaurs outside of the t-rex as we have a ceratopsian and a parasaurolophus and even though they're just you know kind of like cheap little dinosaur toys they're just like a kind of a hollow plastic and there's not a whole lot going on with them when it comes to the detailing aspect or paintwork they're just fun little extras and i kind of like the way they look especially the ceratopsian has kind of that old school charm that i do like so as a whole this set is pretty fun but definitely worth the price of admission just to have this really cool truck so if you are interested in picking this up make sure you head to your local big lots or family dollar or one of those places because that's where i usually find chap may products you never know what's going to be in what store depending on what store you visit so you just have to kind of go search around and look and see where you can snag stuff but that's my best advice as far as where to snag yourself some chap may so make sure you do that grab this set if you do encounter it and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching